Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to not have a Monday Ramble, because as I glance to my right and see that it is Tuesday, physically impossible now. Physically impossible to do that. Can't go back in time. Wish that we could. It'd make things so much easier, although then it would mess everything in the future up, unless that's not how it works. Who knows? It's all theoretical anyway. Yeah, I just didn't get round to it yesterday because I got painting. I actually got painting for the first time in a few weeks. Like, well, not a few weeks, that's an exaggeration. But over Christmas, didn't get a huge amount of hobby done. I finished this guy, this horrible monstrosity. I'll stick a couple of pictures in the video so you can see what what he is. I don't really know what he is. He's just he's just a foam, what is it? Foameroid stone crusher or whatever it's called. Rock thrower, whatever is whatever the actual name of that thing is. But I got distracted painting him yesterday, and uh, I thought, I thought, unwisely perhaps, that I had all the time in the world. And then it was announced yesterday that, uh, no, we do not have all the time in the world, because the UK has entered yet another full lockdown for the next six weeks, I believe. Which means, I'm warning you now, channel, like, upload video stuff, it's going to be super all over the place. The schedule was already janky enough in that there wasn't one. Um, it's supposed to be, like, five a week, but... Sometimes more, sometimes less. That's going to get even worse now, because I need to teach my five-year-old from home, um, whilst also looking after my near three-year-old at the same time, and attempt to make videos too, but I can't obviously do that during the day anymore, because I'll need to look after after the five-year-old, uh, which should be fun. Um, <laughs> it'll be fine, maybe. Which means I'll then have to record in the evening, after they've gone to bed, so it might be that those videos don't get uploaded until the next day. Look, Whatever happens, I will continue making videos uh, as efficiently as I can, which will not be very efficient, but we'll we'll give it a go. In terms of actual pre-order stuff, actual rambly stuff that we normally talk about, there is very little, sadly. There's not a huge amount going on, which I'm not surprised about. Uh, there may be even less. I have no idea what the what the state of things is in terms of Games Workshop. Like, is everything going to close again? Are they going to have to stop manufacturing? Are they going to have to stop having people in the warehouse? Is that going to continue? The fact that all the schools are closed, you're now reduced to like only going out once a day for exercise and should only make essential trips out, kind of suggests that that might be the case, but then again, they've also said you should work from home if you can. And I already know a significant number of people who, despite the fact they could work from home, are being told, no, no, you go into the office as normal. And of course, retail workers are still going out and all that stuff, so who knows? No idea how that is going to pan out. Luckily, luckily, for now, for now, we do have... We do have some interesting things to take a gander at. We have got a little bit, a little bit of something for the new year. So, get a first look at this year's exclusive store anniversary models. At some point in 2021, it will be your local Warhammer store's anniversary. How's that for a prophetic vision? What you might not know, though, is that each year there are two exclusive models available in every store. So this time round, we have Kamatef the Crooked, and Silas Beastbane. Kamatef the Crooked looks like this. He is a cryptech, and uh, he is a slouchy lad. So, even by the standards of the ancient Necrons, Kamatef has been knocking about for a while. That is an incredibly English way of, of saying that, by the way. That is that is 100% like UK... Like U, that's a UKism. He's been knocking about for a while. I'm loving it. This master of eldritch devices is hunched over due to the weight of his own body... I know the feeling, mate. I know the feeling. And tiny scarabs crawl across his carapace. In fact, he almost looks like he's using his staff of light as a walking stick. Best of all, though, you can slot him right into your Necron army in place of your regular Cryptek. I really like this guy. I really do. He looks a bit creepy. And not necessarily in the kind of, uh, in the eldritch horror Necron way. More just creepy old man <laughs> creepy. There's something about the position of the arm. Actually, that arm that isn't holding the staff, that is either like your stereotypical cartoon granny trying to walk up a flight of stairs with the one arm in front of her, or that's got a little bit of flayed one energy to it. A little bit of a little bit of kind of the arm just kind of hunched and curled up a little bit. I'm liking the uh, I'm liking the carapace. That's a really cool touch. I'd quite like to see I don't think we've got a 360 degree view. No, we haven't. That's a shame. Because I would like to see kind of how hefty it is at the back. It looks like he's got some scales and stuff draped down the back of him. There's a little weird orb sticking out of the top there. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that, but everything else I do quite like. He's got an angry old man face. Very appropriate. The Staff of Light does look... I mean, 
they're kind of excessive weapons as it is. They look a little bit chunky. Uh, this one, yeah, he he looks like he would struggle to lift that, which is a bit weird because he's a Necron, and you would have thought that that's not going to be so much of an issue. But still, yeah, overall, overall, I quite like him. Quite like him. Looks like a real grumpy, <laughs> grumpy sod, doesn't he? That's it, like full on get off my lawn. That's that's what he's got going on there. Yeah, like him. Okay, so his name escaped me immediately. Kamatev the Crooked. Yeah, like him. Nice one. We also have Silas Beast Bane, who is of course a Stormcast Eternal. Now, in fairness, I I was like it's going to be a Stormcast, and it was a Stormcast. In fairness, not a Primaris Lieutenant. Not a Primaris Lieutenant there. No Primaris Lieutenant in sight. Nothing to do with Space Marines. So I'm happy about that. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that Space Marines should never, ever have another release ever. That's a very extreme uh, view to have. But uh, I'm, I appreciate that this isn't one of them. <laughs> I feel like they've got a fair amount. They've got a fair amount to come. Going with the Necron side of things. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Give us a break from the Lieutenants for a bit. Okay, so Silas Beastbane. Even the Astral Templars respect the... I should probably know who they are. Well, I'm assuming one of the Stormcast Eternal Chambers. Respect the monster-killing prowess of Knight Questor Silas Beastbane. And with that monstrously heavy head in their hand, it's easy to see why. You can use this model to replace a hero in any Stormcast Eternal's army. He also comes with a unique war score for use in narrative and open play games. So... He has a Questor Axe Hammer, which already makes him quality in my in my eyes. There are things I like, things I don't like. Things I like. The Axe Hammer. 100% on board with that. Absolutely brilliant idea. I mean, I say brilliant idea. They've just, they've just put an axe and a hammer together. In the finest traditions of all things Warhammer, they've just put one weapon with another weapon. I can't really complain about that. I like it. The armour looks cool. I'm not sure about the dangly bits on the front. Like, he's got this kind of tabard thing coming down, whatever you'd call that, over, like, the front of the armour. Not the, not, the, not the fur, the cloth. It doesn't... It's okay. It's all right. I, I'm not 100% on that. The halo thing behind him, that looks cool. The fur is okay. It's all right. It doesn't really add anything to my mind. I know he's like... I mean, obviously he's got a thing about beasts and killing beasts, and that's fine. But I feel like... I feel like it being under the shoulders is a weird choice, to be honest. I would have actually liked to see him have some sort of fur cape, like, over the shoulders, not under the shoulder shoulder guards. That's a, that's a weird one. That's a weird choice. Because it also, like, how do the shoulders attach to the fur? Is there, like, a thing through the fur that goes into the... It, yeah, I, I don't know. That's, that's questionable. That's questionable to my, to my taste. Because it's, you know, entirely subjective, so you might think that looks fine. And that's fine too, but just doesn't quite work for me. The big old, like, minotaur head that he's holding is, is excellent. There's, there's a nice amount of detail on that as well. Yeah, overall okay. I mean, we can't we can't move on without discussing the hair. I'm assuming his mum did that for him. Uh, I don't know who else would would dare try and get away with such a thing. It's an interesting choice, interesting style. I'd replace that head with a helmet. <laughs> but then you know that I'd do that because it's me. Overall, not bad, not bad. I prefer the Cryptech because overall, I think that's a that's an for me that's that's a, a nicer model. This one's fine. Old Silas is fine. Uh, best part is definitely the uh, the axe hammer. Loving the axe hammer. Great idea. Um, there's also a bunch of other stuff. There's like more more swag. You'll have to attend anniversaries themselves to find out how to get your hands on them. So there's like a, 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 a rucksack thing. There's a book. Dice bag. Map. Is that? Assuming those are normal sized dice, that is a massive dice bag um some like art print things and uh and a, a little little collapsible tray to roll your dice in yeah okay which of those models do you prefer do you plan on getting one or both provided you can actually get to a store that's open should the stores be open um yeah let me know which you prefer in the comments down below if you too are affected by the 
the uh, the the freshly announced lockdown lockdown three, um, then do feel free to offer some words of encouragement to your your fellow your fellow people should you feel that they require it or that you, or that you feel that you require it too frankly it's getting a bit much isn't it 2021 not off to a great start but then again <laughs> i don't know what really don't really know what you're expecting to be honest thank you very much for watching feel free to click all the things patreon video subscribe all that stuff click it if you like don't click it if you don't want to and uh, if you would like to support the channel you can do so using the affiliate link for element games in the description down below I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.